The Earth is constantly moving, but you don't notice. Wouldn't it be weird if you did feel it though? Suddenly, clouds move past you at a faster rate. Nighttime arrives in a matter of minutes. As you get dizzier and dizzier, you start to float up. Gravity doesn't even have a hold on you anymore. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. It's all happening so fast. You grab onto something, hoping that will stabilize you, but no person can stop the speed of the Earth's rotations. Soon, everything on Earth as you know it is in many giant tornadoes. You're flying around next to a rhinoceros. How did that get there? Is this what would happen if the world suddenly started spinning faster? Or are there many, many other factors to consider? Let's take a look at the Earth now. Well, if you're somewhere like Chicago, the Earth spins at about 750 miles per hour. So, if you want to experience the Earth rotating at a faster speed, just head down to the equator. The Earth is wider at the equator than it is around Chicago. Therefore, there's more to move. So, at the equator, the Earth spins about 1,037 miles an hour. But it doesn't make that much of a difference. The only thing you may notice is the very tiny, itsy-bitsy relief in gravity. So, if you weigh 150 pounds at the poles, you'd weigh 149 at the equator. If you think moving to the equator is a form of weight loss, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So, let's speed up the Earth's rotation at the equator by one mile per hour. You still wouldn't really notice. The Earth's satellites might be off for a bit, which means no military signals, or worse, no TV. But most satellites should adjust accordingly. Those that can't will need to be replaced, which can cost many millions of dollars. But overall, life as you know it won't be affected by this change. So, now we know that if we really wanted to feel the effects of the Earth's rotation, we'll have to crank that speed up to 11. Or, you know, just double it. Now, the Earth's moving faster. Forget losing one pound now. Oh, you're weightless. You'd be floating in the air and doing cool flips. Well, as long as the rising oceans and hurricanes don't kill you first. This new decrease in gravity will also bring the water up. Any island, including big ones like Australia, will be flooded with water, and there would be constant and much stronger hurricanes. It doesn't sound too pleasant to me. Let's not forget about the sun. As the Earth rotates faster, the days become shorter. All that adapting our body clocks have been doing since the beginning of human existence will be completely off. Our bodies wouldn't know when to eat, when to sleep. We'd be like cats, taking naps here and there, going crazy with energy in the middle of the night. Maybe cats are designed for different kinds of days too. Plants and animals would also be quite affected by these changes. Everything on Earth has been adapted around the Earth's rotation. And when we see the sun, time of day dictates when you eat, sleep, work, grow, even when you should change your underwear. Let's say this speed keeps increasing over time for thousands of years. The Earth's crust would actually start to change shape too. The center of the Earth would bulge out. Talk about a beer belly. This would cause super intense earthquakes from the shifting tectonic plates. If everything else didn't wipe out life on Earth, this certainly would. Don't worry, it's unlikely the Earth will suddenly start speeding up at a disastrous rate. Not more than it already has. That's right, the Earth speeds up and slows down all the time, but only by about a millisecond. An earthquake can swallow a bit of ground, lowering the Earth's circumference for a faster spin, whereas a large air mass can slow the roll. One theory even suggests that 4.4 billion years ago, something collided into Earth and it slowed down quite a bit. It's thought that a day would only have been four hours long. Whew, sounds like the Earth's been through a lot. And hey, if you're a little freaked out about what would happen if the Earth started spinning faster, just remember, if it did happen, we'd all be too dead to notice.